My whole life, I've always wanted girls to like me, you know? I'd always fantasize about girls having crushes on me and fighting over me, everyone wanting to be my friend. That was my dream. And you're probably saying, uh, that's kind of weird, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm well aware of that. I agree, it's pretty strange. I think I fantasize about that because I know it's never gonna happen. I mean, being realistic, no girl would ever be attracted to me. I'm in a Gario server in the face, I have the body of Chris Griffin, and my life is honestly pretty boring. It makes sense. We all want what we can't have. But now, I'm okay with being unattractive. I'm okay with it. There's no pressure. You see, dudes who are attractive always have to worry about keeping their attractiveness. If a girl doesn't like their shirtless selfie, they'd be like, Oh my gosh, does she not like me anymore? Am I not attractive anymore? Meanwhile, I can fart in the middle of class with no repercussions, because no girl likes me anyway. I have nothing to lose. And it also makes my relationships more pure. Because you don't love me merely because of my looks. You just really like my personality. And that's the kind of love I want. I would always look at how to make women fall in love. How to be more attractive videos, you know? Like if you looked at my YouTube search history through the ages of 10 through 14, how to get girls to like me will be one of the top search terms, I swear. I watched like hours of those videos and I'm still ugly. Like, what am I doing wrong? One of the few tips for attractiveness that actually stuck with me was cologne. Cause I remember them saying that women love smell or something, I don't know. But I wore cologne every day to school. I don't know if it wore off or something, but like, I don't think they noticed. Like, what the hell? I spent $80 on this with my own money. But I think that's a good thing. Because if you love me only because of my cologne, then I don't want you. It's inside that counts. When I was 10, those were my down bad days, bro. My gosh. I wanted so bad to have the Ash Ketchum effect. If you've never watched more than one Pokemon show, the Ash Ketchum effect is pretty much wherever this turd goes, every girl he meets falls in love with him. Like, I swear. Every female side character wanted this dude at some point. They even had their own ship names. I was like, damn. I wish that happened in real life. But now that I look at it in retrospect, having a love triangle would just be a terrible situation for all parties involved. You see, if I end up giving in and I go with one of them, then the other one is going to feel unhappy. But then if I go out with her, then the other one is going to be upset. Then, if I end up real player no games, I run the city mode and cheat on both of them, then both will dump me and then I will be unhappy. It's a game with no winners. But fortunately, I don't have to deal with that. I'm ugly. You know, I would always fantasize about the future and how, oh yeah, when I get rich, they'll all want me. I'm gonna pull up to the high school reunion in my Lambo and I'm gonna be like, we're all the fine women at tonight. Oh wait, y'all lost your opportunity. You had your chance. At first they didn't want me, now they all want me. That's crazy. Hey bro, no one cares. Ain't you broke? Ain't you ugly? Damn, you got me there. If I ever get rich, I hope I don't get a gold digger wife. Because they just love the money, not me. In the words of the great Germain, money can't buy you love because it's overpriced. But there's plenty of perks of being ugly. Like whenever someone asks you if you've considered dating, you could just say, Have you seen the way I look? <laughs> hey man, I got the hiccups. Okay, just look at my face. <laughs> but I'm probably not going to post this because my friends are going to be like, Wow, you're being such a pick me. You're just fiending for attention, huh? And my answer to that is, yes, yes I am. It gets lonely sometimes, man.